Okay, we are starting a new unit. So you will update your TEKS tracker. I mean, your unit test data chart with your unit six test. And you will also update your TEKS tracker. So unit two, we had these one skill on the readiness side, three skills on the supporting side. And then reporting category three, we finished everything out. So you're going to do these two on the supporting side and one on the, I mean, readiness side, one on the supporting. So we finish all of reporting category three. Then you are going to go ahead and go to the next page. So if you are right along with me, then you should have your unit pocket at page 82. And then page 83, you have your um, unit divider. 84 is the vocab that's associated with it. And so we'll put our first foldable on page 85. Okay, so we are going to start regression in the calculator. So what we have learned um, is how to write an equation from a graph, a table, a description, two points. We're going to learn how to use technology to write the equation now. So the skill is a mixture of two skills. So if you look back at your um, unit divider, it says, Write linear equations in two variables given a table of values, a graph, and a verbal description. And then 4C, write with and without technology linear functions that provide a reasonable fit to data to estimate solutions and make predictions for the real world. So this is called regression. So we are going to follow some steps. So remember the last test, y'all had to remember how to do the matrix and you didn't get the instructions. You just had to know how to do it, remember how to do it. Same thing with this. You're going to have to remember the steps. So that's why it's important to follow the steps through every single problem and not just hit enter and change some of the, the parts of it, kind of like the matrix. You gotta go through all the steps. So it says, click on stat just to the left of the four direction arrows. So see the word stat right here, click stat. And then it says click one or enter while on edit. And it gives us a way to put in a list. So L1, L2, L3, and it goes on and on. So we are going to enter all the data in L1 and L2. So what I mean by data is that L1 is going to be like our X. So put on here X. And L2 is going to be like our Y values. So this is if you're given some coordinates and you're asked to write the equation. You put all your X values on L1. So let's go ahead and do that. 1, enter, 2, enter, 3, 4, 5. So you push enter between each number. L2, you're going to put your Y value. So 1, 3, 6, 9, 11. Once you have them in L1 and L2, show the people at your table. Make sure everybody has that done. Make sure everybody has it on L1 and L2. All right, it says click stat again. So go to stat, arrow over to calc, 
and we're going to calculate what's called linear regression. So sometimes we'll have quadratic regression, cubic, quartic, um, exponential regression. So we've only learned linear functions so far, so we're doing linear regression. But we are going to learn about exponential functions and exponential regression, which would be zero, and also quadratic regression, which is number five. So anytime you're given a list of values, a table of values, you can use this to find out what the equation is. So I'm going to go back up to four. So I want y'all on your paper circle four, linear regression, or highlight it. AX plus B. So A, what is A represented in this? If it's Y equals AX plus B, what is A? Y'all tell me what y'all think A is. L1. Huh? Not L1. Slope. What? Slope. slope, yeah. A would be your slope. What would B represent? Your what? Starting point, your Y-intercept. Exactly. All right, so it says uh, choose the... Uh, appropriate regression. So it's linear regression. So number four. And it says X list, X1, uh, L1, Y list, L2, frequency list. We don't have any of that. Store regression, not going to. Just go down to calculate. Push enter. Okay, let's go back through the steps. It says click stat again. Then go over to calculate. And then down to four, which is linear regression. And then push enter until it pops up. So what this means is that your equation is y equals 2.6x minus 1.8. To see the data, turn on stat plot and choose L1, L2. We can also have our calculator graph these points like a scatter plot. So I'm going to show you that one. So it says to see the data, turn on stat plot. So it says second y equals. So normally we just graph a line and we go to y equals. But if we want to graph points that we listed in stat, we're going to what it says stat plot. So hit second, stat plot. Go to number one, and we're going to turn these on. So make it where it's flashing and hovering over on. So type, we have, see how that looks like a scatter plot? And then we keep all this the same, L1, L2. We can have different markings and we have we can have different colors if you have a colored uh, calculator. And then if we hit graph, it plots those points. Second y equals. If you want this to just look at the data, we can actually go to zoom and go to zoom stat. So it's only on the data. So zoom and zoom stat. So put that on your paper. So zoom, zoom stat is number nine. So once you do that, push enter. And now look. It's in a straight line. And so when we graph this line, it should go directly through those points. So we're going to put this into y equals now. So go to y equals and put the point, uh, the equation in 2.6x minus 1.8. Now hit graph. 
Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. So what this is going to do, this is going to take out some of the work that we have been doing by hand with hand calculations. And it's going to make it where we can write our equation given any two points. All right, so we're only doing page one of this. Let's go to this is on my page 66 writing an equation from a table I'm going to show you how to do this don't load in yet but you'll put it in the pocket because we're not going to finish it today so look for this page in your journal writing an equation from a table it's on my page 66 might be different for you all right now we're going to clear our memory so hit second plus seven one two because we want a fresh table we don't want anything in there, so it's best just to clear it. Okay, we're going to put this table in, and we are going to find the equation. We already know what it is, but we're going to use the steps, because remember, we need to be practicing these steps, because we won't have them right in front of us. So I'm going to bring this over here to try to help me remember. Now, follow the steps. So I'm going to go through it with you all again. Are you all ready? So we're going to go to STAT. Go to EDIT. In L1, we're going to put X. So we're going to put these X values. In L2, I'm going to put the Y values. And then you're going to follow those steps. So if you want me to do it with you, we go to stat. Now we want to calculate something. So go over to calculate. This is a linear function because it'll tell you this is a linear function or your answer choices will be in the form of y equals mx plus b. Let's go down to linear regression. Go down to calculate. Have it calculate. Check it out. 0.5, is that the same thing as 1 half? Yep. So 1 half x plus 4. Y equals 0.5x plus 4. Pretty cool. It'll do the work for us. Okay, let's see if we have some other ones. What about just ordered pairs? I want you to go to this page, page 68. We're just going to use... We know our answer. We're going to do this. So I'm going to clear out my memory again. So second. Second plus seven, one, two. Mine's on page 68. It says when the slope um, and an order pair are given or when two order pairs are given. We're going to find the equation that goes through these points. So guess what? You don't need a whole list of points to be able to write the equation. All you need is two points. So let's go to stat and let's put these two points in. So what would go on the L1 side? Two and three. And then two is matched with negative four. And three is matched with one. Mm 
Now calculate linear regression. So follow the steps again. Stat, calc, linear regression. Stat, calc, linear regression. Then go down, hit calculate. Five and negative 14. Slope is five, y-intercept is negative 14. So that's correct. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this. Let me hand out some sample problems. Okay, so we've done some examples. So let's look at the three problems I'm giving y'all to do. I want you to go ahead and use regression to find the equation of a line that goes through the points on the table. So I'm going to do it up on the screen. If y'all need to look at mine, you can. We won't be using the stat plot unless it unless we need to look at the graph. So right now we're just writing the equation, so we don't need to look at that. Something important you do need to look at before you do linear regression is double check all your numbers. Negative 20 is with 96. Negative 12 is with 60. Negative 6 is with 33. Negative 2 is with 15. Because if you put it in, it's going to calculate the wrong equation. You put it in wrong. Check your answer with mine. Y equals negative 4.5X plus 6. Is that right? All right, go to the next one. Which one's the X? The week. Which one's the Y? Balance. And B of W is just a, the balance after W weeks. It's just like saying Y equals. Same thing with F of X. Let me give you some time. Double check your X and Y. And then calculate. <clears throat> this is what mine popped up as. 7 is the slope, 32 is the y-intercept. Okay, so 7, instead of x, what am I going to put? W. But does it really matter? No, it really doesn't. Or we can put y equals 7x plus 32. All right, what about the next one? Clear out your memory. 
How are we going to put these points in? Mm -hmm. Yep, because we only need two points. Stat, edit, do L1 and L2. Oh, um, yeah, that's positive three. This is negative 4.5. There we go. Stat, calc, linear regression. Is this what y'all got? f of x equals negative 1.5x minus 9. And the way we could check, is that reasonable? The y-intercept is at negative 9. Is that true? The slope is going downhill. It's a negative slope. Yes. Okay, so on page 85, this is where it's going to go after we finish it, though. Um. It's kind of hard to write on if it's glued in already. So just title it regression on a TI-84. And then put that in your unit seven pocket. And then page 86, you can glue this one in. Yeah, the half sheet. Yeah, we're gluing in the half sheet, but not the foldable because we're not finished with it. We haven't done the inside yet. The inside looks like this, and we haven't done it yet. We're not doing it today. So put this in your pocket. Your assignment is on Delta Math. You just have to use your calculator. You don't have to show any work. 